So what is package.json? Well, it allows us to create different metadata about our theme. So things such as the theme name, description, version, and so on. We'll also have a different package.json in our assets folder, and that will contain any dependencies that we may want to use. But for now, let's stick with the name of our package. And this will be Paul Dash Halliday for me, because that's the name of my theme. It's very uncreative, but I hope you can come up with a better name. The description of my theme will be a theme for paulhalliday.io, the version will be 0.01. .01. We'll list the engines that we want to support, and that will be Ghost, greater than or equal than 1.00. Next, we can define a author. We can pass in an email here, such as an email address. And we can also pass in a name. And finally, we can add in a theme config option. Now this will become more relevant later on in the course, but we'll be adding a posts per page of three. So let's save our package.json. This is good enough and it satisfies the requirement. Let's now take a look at how we can activate our theme and start displaying some information on screen. 